I know it's kind of hard to hear me. We're in a little bit of a wind tunnel here, working in front of the flow hood. Greetings, salutations, and welcome back. My name is Dalton Cowan, and I've been growing mushrooms since about 2018. But I've never tried to clone them before. We're going to do that today. A huge shout out to Alan Carroll and Fungi Farm uh, for looking me up at these plates. They've got them on sale over there for a dollar a piece. Really good deal. Um, and also, we'll be cloning today a Black Pearl King Mushroom. I think I got this culture originally from Mike Crabtree. If not Crabtree, it's Brian Bailey. But uh, we're going to give it a shot. Now, first things first, ideally, you want to wash your hands really, really good. Some people use gloves. I'm not going to be using gloves today, and most of the cultivators that I've spoken to suggest not using gloves because they tend to make you think that your hands are cleaner than they actually are. Also, under ideal circumstances, you want to run the flow hood for at least 20 minutes. Clean up anything in the space in which you're working. And also spray everything down really well with alcohol. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. Now to do this, you need some very simple things. This doesn't have to be done in front of a flow hood. You can do this in a still air box. I've seen people do it in open air with success. But this just provides a nice clean space for us to work in front of. But what you'll need is a knife. I like to use this kind of off-brand exacto style knife. You'll need parafilm. This is what we're going to seal the plate with once we transfer a piece of tissue from the mushroom itself. We're just going to add that right to the plate, close it up very quickly, put some parafilm around it, and then wait for it to colonize. And hopefully this mushroom culture will be the only thing that grows within it. And now, this is really just super simple. I can't believe that I've taken this long to do this. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to open up the fruit body, get a piece of interior tissue, we're going to take a small section of that, drop it on the petri dish, seal it up, and that's it. Oh yeah, you're going to need a torch, or a back to center or something to sterilize this with. You can package it, stick it in autoclave or, or whatever, um, if you want to use a sterile instrument. So what we're going to do is fill this with butane first. Be right there. Okay, so we have our torch, we have our instrument, and we're just going to get that red hot in front of the flow of the flow hood. Then what we're going to do is just dip that in here to fill it off. There we have our little piece of tissue. We're just going to drop that right in that plate. Next, we're going to take our parafilm. This is sterile on the inside. You don't want to use this side of it. You want to use the side that is attached to the backing. Okay, it took me two pieces of parafilm because I'm a newbie, and I really don't know what I'm doing, to be perfectly honest with you. But, we now have our Petri dish with our piece of mushroom tissue on the inside. It's been sealed, and we're going to allow that to sit at room temperature for a couple of weeks and allow it to colonize. I'll let you guys know how it's going. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this content, you want to see more like it, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to check us out at CowansFantasticFungi.com. We've got all kinds of goodies up there. We're about to start offering cultures and spawn and all sorts of other fun stuff. Got some grow blocks and some hemp products and some art and uh, all kinds of cool stuff on there. So just come check us out and uh, I'll see you next time.